Yo, what is going on guys? Gomes here, and we're here with a challenge video. Haven't done a challenge in a while, so I figured might as well bring up another one since it has been so long since I've done a channel, or done a challenge for the channel, and today I'm kind of disappointed. I wanted to do this online on Diamond Dynasty, but apparently you can't do what I want to do online against other people, so I guess we're going to have to play against the computer. It's all good, I guess. I, like I said, kind of disappointed, but nonetheless, it's still going to be a very hard challenge that is going to be very interesting to see how it pans out. So, let's randomize the teams a couple times and stop right there. Phillies and Rays, that's actually a World Series matchup. I'll use my Tampa Bay Rays for this. Now, the challenge... It's using cameras that are very, very difficult to use. And yeah, you got you guys will see right now. Alright, so here we go. On to the challenge now. Rays versus Phillies. David Price on the mound. Now, pitching isn't gonna be the problem. I will be pitching on Hall of Fame. The second hardest level, obviously, legend is the hardest. But I figured it's harder than All-Star. But then again, it's not like way too difficult. I think Hall of Fame is a good medium. Odubel Herrera leading it out for the Philadelphia Phillies. And uh, on offense, I will be hitting on I will be hitting on Hall of Fame as well. Longoria over to make the play on to Carlos Pena to lead off the game. But like I was saying, pitching isn't going to be the hard thing. Hitting 100% is going to be almost impossible. With the camera angles that I'm using for hitting, it is very difficult. I tried it for like an inning or two, and it is not easy whatsoever. Easy is an hard is an understatement to try to hit with that camera that I will be using. It, it'll be interesting, but if I can just pitch really good with Price, if I only need like one run, obviously. Pitching a shutout is going to be very hard, especially with these all-time rosters that I'm using. There will be a link or a card that you guys can find. To find cards, look for the I in the top right corner. Click on it, and there will be a link to my all-time roster video where you can find out how to get all-time rosters for the all 30 teams. But yeah, throwing a shutout against an all-time roster is not going to be easy. And the Phillies are definitely one of the better ones, too. I mean, you have Howard, Utley, Rollins, Mike Schmidt, all back into their prime. So, definitely no slouch. Obviously, the Phillies now, not very good. But we get Ryan Howard to bounce on the ground. And it is a three-out inning. Good job from David Price. I'll definitely take that. I need more innings just like that. Against Lefty Grove, which is not going to be easy. And, yeah. Take a look at this hitting. Take a look at this hitting camera. You cannot even see Lefty Grove. At least with Carl Crawford's batting stance. I don't know how I'm supposed to hit. But I'm going to have to try to find a way. It is going to be almost impossible. I'll be happy if I get a couple of hits out of this. Like I said, hitting on Hall of Fame difficulty as well. And yeah, he throws a fork ball. I'm going to be able to see the pitcher. Which makes it almost impossible for me to get a hit. You know how they say keep your eye on the ball? How the hell am I supposed to do that? And Carlos Pena, he has a hit. Let's go. What I could actually kind of see it. I don't know. Pena might be my one saving grace. And now Evan Longoria coming up. Easily my best player on the all-time raise. And yeah, of course I can't see him. What would I expect? But two outs, a good base hit. Um... Okay, this is impossible. I'm going to be late on the curveball right there. I have to pretty much swing at everything and kind of just guess. Because especially with Longoria, like, just take a look at where Lefty Grove is. You can see his sock in between Longoria's legs. But you can never see the ball. I have no idea where the ball is even going to go. I could be, like, this is almost impossible. Especially with Longorius. It kind of depends on the batting stances, honestly. And that one's just going to be a slow bouncer. Hey, we didn't strike out. The whole first inning didn't strike out. That wasn't too bad of an inning. Now, yeah, I kind of like this too. I can at least see Lefty Grove. 
which can make it a lot easier. He hits that well. Never mind. <laughs> and yeah, the fork ball. Back to the fork ball. Of course, Will Myers' leg is right in the way of Lefty Grove, so I can't see him. This is gonna be so hard, man. They're gonna be really difficult because a lot of the Crawford had this. A lot of these players had these batting stances where I'm not even able to see the pitcher. Which makes getting hits almost impossible. Yeah, I don't know. Varro up now. He is my last hitter, I believe. I'm pretty sure he is in Navarro. Slow roller. Yeah, 24 speed. Good luck with that, bruh. So that was like Carl Crawford. He possibly could have beat that out. And, well, then of course, I don't know if I'll even hit the ball with Carl Crawford. Little hits off of, like, a Hall of Fame pitcher. Off the stupidest camera angle ever. That one is gonna... Really? What a play by Jason Wirth in left field. That would have been probably a triple with Carl Crawford's speed. I don't know how he caught that one. Right up against the wall. You never catch balls when it's like that. I don't know how he caught that one. Oh, but his batting stance makes it very difficult. Oh, Evan Longoria, he has a hit. Let's go. Maybe, I don't know. Like, I thought Penny and Longoria's batting stances are not very ideal for this. But it's actually going to work out. Ben Zobris, is like, this is the kind of batting stance I would want. But of course, it's another two-out single. So it's going to be hard to follow up on. He hits this one. Yeah, really, Blue? I mean, okay, maybe the other guy pays the ump. But what happens here when the CPU is getting calls and I don't? Come on, make that play. 85 speed, come on. Perfectly hit in the hole. And Jimmy Rollins is going to get an infield hit. And it's going to be a one nothing game here for Philadelphia. That's another run. Not the way we're hitting. We can't allow another run. Ryan Howard up to the plate. And he hits a grand slam. That wasn't that bad of a pitch though. The change up. I think that was actually below the zone. And Ryan Howard's going to hit a four run shot. A grand slam. No doubter. Okay, that change up. It did catch a bit too much of the play, but yeah, David Price. If Once he gets out of the inning, I'm probably taking him out. I said, at least he has a somewhat favorable batting stance that I can at least see him in. And he's going to have a base hit up the middle. All right, that's three hits right now. Of course, it's also a, it's kind of difficult. Okay, Logan Forsyth, I see you. I see you, Jason Wirth. Yeah, probably a good idea that we didn't try to run on that. Probably would have just ran ourselves out of the inning. And now Deanna Navarro. It's going to end up like at least... Uh, okay, that's a base hit. I'm setting him. I don't care. Oh, oh Dubal Herrera. He doesn't have that good of arm, but we're gunned easily. Wow. No, come on. Don't go. Why? W come on. Seriously, I tried to get a boost right there. And we're going to end up running ourselves out of the inning. Had a great chance to score. But we're not going to come across with a run. I don't know how. A slow roller in front of the plate. 98 speed. That's an error. Come on, Crawford. Get going. I'm going to... No. I No, that's stupid. I learned from last time. You have a chance to score a run. Don't screw it up. As well. And Longoria. Lefty Grove. Good play on the mound. Throwing it to Howard at first. Got a runner on second to start off the inning, and we're not able to score. Yeah, this is this is this is hard. Come on, let's just go high and inside to Bobby Abreu, and Bobby Abreu tuning it up, hitting a two-run bomb. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take Garza out. Still has plenty of energy to finish out the game, and on to Jimmy Rollins and Crawford actually beats that out. Good speed. Like I said, Crawford, I mean, for a bigger guy, like Crawford isn't like as, he's like barely Hamilton is small. Carl Crawford's actually pretty fast for the size that he is. And Melvin Upton Jr., a two-run shot. Let's go. We scored a run. We scored two runs. That's all I care about. We scored a run, a no-doubt home run from BJ Upton. Oh, that's, let's go. I mean... I did what I wanted to do. I scored a run on this challenge that seems almost impossible, honestly. And it was on that fork ball, of course, too. 
I hate that forkball of Lefty Groves. I do not know why. Corey Dickerson hits that one decently. But it's going to be right to Jason Wirth in left field. There you guys go. That's the that's the hardest that's the weirdest camera angle challenge. I definitely suggest you try it and don't just play it on like beginner. Play it on a hard difficulty. Let me know how you guys do this challenge. Easily the hardest challenge I've done on the show yet this year. Very hard, very frustrating. But we did score a couple runs. I'm actually happy with that. Like I said, very hard. I call this the weird, the, I call it pretty much the impossible challenge. Because I don't know how on Hall of Fame each side against an all-time Phillies team, I can win a game with that camera angle where sometimes you, can, you can't even see the ball. You cannot even see the ball, but we do score two runs. Seven hits, that's actually not too bad. I think I did pretty good for... Like I said, a lot of times not even being able, being able to see the ball. And of course that one inning really screwed us over. If that one inning never happened, it'd still be a 2-2 game. But obviously it did happen. We are going to take the L 7-2. Like I said, Hall of Fame on each side was a very hard challenge. I really... You guys should definitely try it out. If you want to frustrate yourselves and probably, you know... Just get really mad at this game. Definitely try this challenge, but I can't say it was a lot of fun. But it was very interesting, and it's probably going to be funny to watch me strike out 300 times. But if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see more MLB The Show challenges in the future, leave a like down below, comment some challenges that I could do, subscribe if you are new, and thank you guys for watching. Literally, guys, comes out.